So I think you would have already known like what is malloc and now you want to understand like what is the difference between malloc and calloc. So this video is little bit towards the comparison between malloc and calloc. So malloc is like a memory allocation and calloc is like a continuous memory allocation. I mean they both does the same thing. It's just that malloc takes a single argument and calloc takes two arguments and they are number of blocks like how many blocks you want and what should be the size of each block. So if we are looking for integer PTR then calloc how many bytes I want? I mean, how much, how many blocks I want? Maybe 10 blocks. So what should be the size of all the blocks? It should be maybe the size of integer because I want integer pointer array. So this is used to get the memory dynamically and it will return a void pointer. As I have mentioned in the syntax, we have to type cast it to whatever we want. So we are looking for integer pointer. So that's it. If you recall the same goes like in integer PTR, let's say one equal to, if I will just make it a little good, integer, and then we have malloc and size of integer. And then we used to do this, right? Multiplication by 10. And it used to give you the memory, right? Now, what is the difference? I'm just giving you 10 separately. Why there is a big deal for this? Actually, why calloc is important just because malloc gives you the memory uninitialized so what do i mean by malloc gives you uninitialized memory let's try to understand that part so we all know that memory dynamic memory comes from a heap right correct so let's suppose this is your heap and you are taking this much portion with the help of malloc then what it does it gives you the initial blocks pointer correct but it does nothing with the memory. Whatever the value was before, it will still be there. But in case of calloc, it will initialize all the memories with default zero. Okay. And then it will return the pointer to you so that you can use it. Now you have guessed it. This is faster. This is like little bit slower because it has to go to all the blocks and initialize it with zero because it is doing some job. It is slow. So now it's up to you whether you want to initialize before you start using it or you don't care. You just want the dynamically memory created. So this is faster. This is a little slower. Interesting, right? Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.